Shu Shu. He studied military tactics as a disciple of the famed strategist Simo Hui of Jing province. On his way to Shuchong, he passed through Xinye, where Liu Bei happened to be. Xinye was on the verge of being invaded by Cao Cao. It was uncertain how Liu Bei would respond to the massive army he faced. Finding his interest piqued, Xu Xu set out for Liu Bei's location. Xu Xu demonstrated many brilliant strategies that helped lead Liu Bei to victory. However, he decided to leave Liu Bei's side so that he could return to his mother. Time passed, and Xu Xu eventually became a vassal of Wei. He was one of the lower-ranking Wei officials, although he often was granted an audience with the Wei Emperor. However, it was a station well below his talent and abilities. I hear that Zhuge Lian has become Prime Minister of Shu. Hmm. We have the Wei Emperor. A Shu Emperor and Prime Minister. There are too many titles out there. How I envy you, Liang. I can only wish that I had been allowed to be a strategist for Shu and aided in this endeavor. In honor of the occasion, there is something that I would like to say to everyone. In doing your work, I ask that you listen to others' opinions and learn to consider them fully, even if they differ from your own personal opinions. You each have pride in your own abilities. This can make listening difficult, I understand. To the best of my knowledge, the only one who could unfailingly do that was Shu Shu, my old friend, an example to us all. somehow return to that time? I would. No. I guess I would have made the same decision. That remains to be my weakness. I can never become Jugo Yang. Master Shushu, the Emperor has summoned you. I understand. I shall be there in a moment. But please, Remind His Highness, I cannot offer any plans. As usual, I will only listen and give my opinion. Oh, 